Good morning, and OGV Energy are delighted to be with the best dressed men at Subsea Expo 2022. The tartan is back, guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, this is a motive tartan. It's actually our own tartan, so we're proud to be wearing it here, yeah. I saw it at uh, Adapec. It did a really good job of, of bringing the guys in. Is it, is it working well for you today so far? Yeah, I've had quite a few comments already, so yeah, it definitely works. Some <laughs> positive and some negative. <laughs> well, fantastic. So the first thing I wanted to kind of ask you guys is since we spoke to you at Adapec, um, kind of what's changed? I understand that you're now looking at kind of Taiwan as, uh, as a big area for you. Yeah, well, I mean, we've we've opened our renewables hub there, you know, and that's that's our our big push for for us to move into the transition. We've invested heavily. We've um, taken on some local staff. We've got some expats there, but we've also invested in a lot of equipment locally as well. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a big focus for us at the moment. And, and Taiwan as a country has um, some strong environmental targets that you're helping them to achieve. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it's it's um, goals of our own. You know, we've we've got goals of our own as a company. You know, it's part of, of our um, ESG strategy to to do more um, environmentally friendly things. Fantastic. And I understand that you've got a bit of a of a client night happening later on tonight. Is that right? Yes, we do. Yep, yeah, we've uh, we've got an event at OGV Top Room tonight. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. I understand it's a, a great venue. Um, so I want to talk a little bit as well about the relationship with the private equity company, if I may, James. Can you maybe comment a little bit on how that's going and how they're helping you to um, to kind of grow globally? Yeah, so we took them in uh, early 2019 really to help grow the business, uh, you know, from working capital, which we've invested in lots more equipment uh, for Taiwan and other, other places as well. Uh, but really, really benefit from their immense experience within the management team you know, they sit in our board meetings and they've been really, really supportive and helped us grow, you know, through the last few years. And so this, this is Energy Ventures um, in 2019 when the relationship um, happened. You know, what, what kind of further plans do you have that will involve their, um, their investment to help you to grow over the next kind of two to four year horizon? Yeah, we'll just continue doing what we're doing. You know, there'll be more acquisitions down the line, uh, more organic growth. You know, Taiwan isn't isn't the last place we're going to move into. We've, we've got some plans to go elsewhere. Uh, again, following following uh, offshore wind, really renewables type type work. So yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. And how how is the the flow line acquisition since that happened um, last year? I think it was, was it? Yeah, it's it's been great to be honest. Um, yeah, the, the the timing wasn't great with COVID, but you know we got on with it. We knuckled down. You know they're a great team. We've worked with them for years in the past, uh, so they integrated really well. And you know the performance of the flow line, flow line business, if you like, uh, has been really good alongside our own. So yeah, couldn't be happier really. Fantastic. Well, I hope you have um, a great three days um, and good luck with your event tonight. And will you be wearing the tartan tonight? I will. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you later on.